and now a steep descent to go to Versailles look no hands and engine braking only fantastic see people for all those who want to know about lane splitting this is something that you need first of all you need good balance let's go to the right there and now nah, I shouldn't have turned Ah, oh, that's a shame first of all you need good balance because you need uh, actually it's 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 good balance and knowing the size of your bike right because you have to basically see uh, the hologram of your bike uh, between the two cars that you're gonna pass and if you and if it yeah, and if you see that it fits then it's good and then yeah balance is balance is very important right so you, you have to be able to do what I'm doing now which is just control I'm controlling the bike with my waist see I can turn if I want to I, I switched lane and now I can switch lane again see etc etc and you've got to be capable of doing that if you want to oh what a shame I can't go up there you, you've got to be able to do that if uh, because balance is very important and and believe me it's not a it's not a question of talent um, lots of lots of guys will tell you that it's a question of talent but it's not it, it's actually a question of hmm it's actually a question of um, of, of uh, training. Um, I, I traffic filter and I, I I lane share and lane split, whatever expression you want to choose. Uh, very instinctively, not because. Oh, good! I ended up exactly where I wanted to end up. Um, not not because I'm I'm especially good, you know, because I'm not. I I lane split and traffic filter and, and lane share and all that. Um, because I I always did it. I started riding bicycles in Paris when I was 12, and already with bicycles, I I I uh, filtered like through cars and stuff. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you want to watch a good bicycle channel, you should watch. Gaz three four five, I think, is is his name. Gaz three four five, a uh, very very interesting um, a b a bicycle channel, um, and very uh, the guy lane splits a lot, which is nice, and also uh, gets into <laughs> various rows with with uh, cages. So so you should watch his uh, his stuff. But uh, back on the, the the traffic filtering topic, I started uh, traffic filtering on my bicycle when I was uh, 12, 11 or 12 in Paris and then I went on to a scooter when I when I got uh, when I was 18 I, I, I bought a scooter, 19 actually, I bought a scooter for myself and um, and again with the traffic filtering and at the beginning with the scooter I didn't traffic filter it too much uh, because I was scared of it and also because uh, the scooter appeared to me like it was very heavy and so in the beginning I, I, I thought to myself that I couldn't traffic filter with a scooter because it was too heavy and that I didn't have the capacity to do it but as time passes the weight of the scooter doesn't really matter anymore and, and you start forgetting about it and um, and and so I passed my uh, my 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 motorcycle license, and um, and when I when I first got onto this ER6N that was not at my driving school, my riding school, say the same thought came to my mind. Wow! Holy holy shit! This is really heavy. This is like two times as heavy as my as my scooter is and I'm never gonna be able to traffic filter with that and then you know I spent like three or four months imitating a car uh, on my motorcycle 
um, not traffic filtering just occupying the space that our car would occupy but then it came naturally uh, so I guess my point is don't think for a second that uh, traffic filtering is is reserved only for those who are talented it's a question of training you know it's a question of getting used to it once you're used to it it's uh, it's no problem so yeah but still uh, uh, you can you can keep saying that I've got balls of steel and uh, and uh, that uh, 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 my traffic filtering skills are brilliant and blah 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 because th those are comments that I really like plus uh, I can brag about it with my friends so so there you go <laughs> there was one comment on my uh, traffic filtering vid um, with the music and all from one guy who said uh, this guy has some balls <laughs> I like that kind of comment, it's cool. <laughs> but um, all joking aside, and believe me or not, the traffic filtering that I did on my traffic filtering video wasn't that extreme. I'm, I mostly... Um, oh, nice. That is brilliant. Fantastic car. Um, yeah, I mostly filter a lot more than that, and lot, a, a lot harder and a lot faster. Um, the thing is, I choose not to show you. Oh shit! Sorry, I choose not to show you the videos. Because I um, know that I would get comments such as you're a crazy wonker and you're gonna die uh, And I also know that even though um, my, ex my, most, my mostly extreme videos are made by my, my friend You know, the, the friend that has the same bike and the same gloves and the same camera and the same uh, stuff And basically that's fantastically similar to me but is not me uh, Well whoops that's a yellow light so um, yeah usually my friend does it but I I'm guessing that one day the cops will try to find out who my friend is and um, they'll think that the similarity between me and my friend is a bit too obvious and so I'll get fucked which I don't want to get fucked uh, but another another thing is, and that makes me laugh, is that in order to find me, the cops will have to understand what I'm saying. And believe it or not, um, speaking English is not a requirement for French cops. Actually, I guess that speaking English is not a, a requirement for anyone in France. So, uh, yeah. Oh shit, that road there seemed very nice. 